Hey there folks, this is GooniXI, welcoming you right back to Let's Play Wild Arms, this is episode 8. What we're going to be doing today is the only stealthy part of the entire game uh, that I can think of. But before we do that, we got to check on the King of Adelheid, because he could be well sick. And we don't want that. King is being treated inside, doesn't look good. Ah, oh, Cecilia's father. Let's go and have a talk to him. I've been wounded badly, I was careless. I hope my men get got away in time. Let me speak to Cecilia. Need to tell her something before I... Oh no! Come on then. Come on then. I'm glad you're alright. Listen, Cecilia. The monsters are after you. You must defeat them. Okay. Your Majesty, the monsters demand that you surrender the teardrop or they'll storm the castle. It belonged to my mother. It's very dear to me. But I'll give it up for the sake of my kingdom. Oh wow. It's like... It's like in Final Fantasy IX where... <laughs> where, um, Dagger gives up her... What'd she give up? She gives up something, don't she? So that Alexandria doesn't get destroyed. But, you know, <laughs> you know what happens there. If I do nothing, many will die because of me. So the king doesn't actually want Cecilia to give up the teardrop because there's something really important about it and we mustn't get rid of it no matter what happens. I don't agree with what my father said. In some people should not suffer. In the dungeon, there's a secret passage which st should still be there. When I was a little girl, I remember trying to get to the town from there. We can sneak out from there and give the demons a teardrop. Oh no, there's something important about it. You can't just give it away. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that, we'll have to do it. There's nothing else we can do. Over here. And if you get caught, you just go back to your room. I'm hoping that won't happen at all. Because if it does, it's quite a trek back. This castle isn't small. Some of the soldiers will chase you, as you just saw. Some of them will just ignore you completely, even if you walk right in front of them. But if you touch them, bash into them while running, uh, talk to them or anything, you know, that's when you get sent back. So that's why I'm walking a little bit every now and again, just in case. Just in case. We could actually get the treasure chest now if we wanted to, if we didn't come to the castle earlier and get them. But down here, down here is something we did miss. No! Okay, let's try this again and go up. I was thinking of somewhere else. If you go up by here, you can actually rest. Get some free healing in before we get onto a, a dungeon. A dungeon, yeah. As Cecilia mentioned earlier, it's a dungeon to get us into town. Go right and see that soldier. Not going that way. There might be a treasure chest there. I don't know, but we're not doing it. <laughs> so, this is where we want to be. We're going to go first off. We're going to go down here. This is where I was thinking of. Trust just we missed earlier. A moonstone. We're going to give it to Cecilia because she has nothing else on her left hand while the other two do. It nullifies poison, so she can't be poisoned. Which is going to be really handy in the next dungeon, I think. Now we need to talk to this chef. If we don't, then we're not going to be carrying on with the game. End stand. I'll open the door to the cellar. Please follow me. There are powerful monsters down there. You ready? Yep. We haven't been able to buy any better equipment than we actually have from what we bought a while ago when we first got the party all together. Feels like a while ago, doesn't it? It's not really that bad. Okay, I'm going to save now because I don't want to be doing that stealthy bit again. I don't like stealthy games at all. It only takes two seconds to save anyway. At least we had some nice music to go along with the uh, sneaking around. That's one good thing that came out with. We're not going to be needing Cecilia down here that I can think of, so I'm going to get the bombs out. Maybe Ham Pam would be the better one, but we'll try We'll try this one. Oh, they're flames! I was wondering why I was in the water then. Anything? Okay, we'll get Ham Pam. There we go, Power Apple! <laughs> yeah, a bit more strength. There'll probably be some new enemies down here. Yay! There are there are Gamora toads. We're just gonna go on the fighting spree. I'm not sure which spell would be best, but if save points actually restored your MP, like Final Fantasy X or I don't know a couple of other RPGs, then I would actually be using magic more with Cecilia in regular battles. But it doesn't. So I... annoying as hell, but that's the way the game is. 
It's not like we can get many magic carrots yet either. Okay, to finish this battle off in one, we'll have Rudy attack that one again to finish it off. We'll get Cecilia and Jack to attack the other one. They should finish the battle in this round. They seem to have quite a bit of health, don't they? But not so much that the battle takes forever. Critical hit. Yay. We didn't need it, but yay. Another critical hit. <laughs> nice. 18 the XP. 18. And how much does it take to go up a level? Maybe 300? Let's have a look. Yeah, a lot. What the hell? This doesn't seem to me like it would be a good place for level grinding. Magic carrot. Yep, we needed one of them. If we go across here, we'll be at the other side of where we were earlier, I think. Okay. I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay, another new enemy here. We'll get rid of that like that, that like that. So all that should be left is the new enemy. Which might actually give us more EXP than the bloody frogs. You never know. The blue want, that's for sure. A <laughs> critical hit on a balloon. As if we needed that at this point. Let's see what the slime is like. I'm imagining poison. Not that time. Jelly Blob. And I also imagine the magic would do more damage against her than physical attacks. Never mind. It might it might do, but Well, okay. Definitely not a place to level grind, but easy enough enemies. If we go around here, this box is to the left, we don't want them. And that's it. So let's try the other way. I'm glad we went the wrong way first. That's how I always like to do RPGs. Don't like going the right way the first time, because you miss out on treasure chests. Or you think you miss out on treasure chests. You never know, do you? That's the problem. Uh, haha, -ha, treasure chest. Okay, from that battle we got a breeze clip. Breeze cape, which I think we already bought one earlier. No? Oh, it's worse. It's a really bad item. Okay. Mr. Gapple. I can use a couple of these apples that we found, too. Bit more strength. Who needs it now? Up to 37, up to 32, Rudy. And more sorcery is definitely Cecilia. Yep, yep. Where to now? Should try this way? Trust chest either way. I think at 3, Gala. Seriously, game. Let's head back. Head back. How annoying is that? Okay, should we try down this way instead? I think it's the only way we haven't been, so... Why not? Ooh, some boxes. Definitely haven't been this way. Ah, uh, no. Hey, battle gone. Anyways, I'm gonna go up first, because I think... This going up would be the wrong way. And it was. Good. Agile Apple. A bit more speed for... A bit more response for... Ooh, 22, 17, 32. Rudy, he seems to be really low on response. Cavalry and weaknesses is how I like to go through this game. You can either exa exaggerate your strengths or cover weaknesses, and I prefer to cover weaknesses. I mean, that is except for Cecilia's strength. There's no point covering that weakness. And magic is so good for who? Uh, two hardy apples, increased vitality. Who needs it the most? 15, 22, 19. Both to Cecilia, I think. Oh, nut chest chest too. Nice. Quite a bit of money. For this point in the game. So back up. That's all we went down that way for. And across here. More crates. Get out of my way. Well, throw ya. And that I did. Sort of gave the warning a bit late, but yeah. Anyways. Ah, oh, we went the dead end way. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> no reward or anything, just a dead end. Oh, chest chest. Magic carrot, nice. Two magic carrots from this dungeon. Oh, save point, save point, save point. 
this episode doesn't actually been that long, is it? So I think we'll carry on after the save. Still at max MP with Cecilia, so we don't even need to use a magic carrot. I'm quite happy with how this dungeon's gone, actually. It's because we did a bit of level grinding over in Lilithia's tomb. I think. Uh, just to... We'll leave, we'll leave Rudy as he is. He's got close to max health. Oh dear god. I don't know if you, if you heard that sneeze in the background. Ah, oh, remember this? Potion berry. I was trying to think how to get a trust chest and then it, we could never figure it out. Oh, I couldn't. Well, now we know. Oh, you can keep pushing it. <laughs> we made it out alive! Oh, oh. Excuse me. Can we leave now? Did you bring the teardrop? Give it to Master Belzell, who's just north of here. Okay. We go give it to the leader. That's right. It is boss time. And it is definitely the toughest boss so far. But that's not saying much, because every other boss in the game so far has been quite easy. Just give me the teardrop and you won't see me again. Oh no. Grab the person, go through the gate as soon as it opens. Wait, I'm not done with you yet. You demon. I don't know how you got here, but... Uh-oh. This is what I live for. Like I said, I'm a busy guy. Let's make it quick, shall we? You're crazy to go after him by yourself. Oh, here we go. We gave him the teardrop, but it looks like <laughs> that's not going to be the end of it. Humans break so easily. You guys don't make very good toys. We have to be so delicate with you humans. Oh, I can imagine how delicate you are with us most of the time. Okay, we'll start off with a normal attack. Psycho crack. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, just go for fire. I don't know what his weakness is, so we'll find out as we go through the battle. What's he doing? What's he doing? Nothing? Much? Dungeon uh, 2. Okay. Fire! <laughs> He's got Wrecking Ball. He sort of reminds me of... You know, Kill Bill Volume 1? With a Japanese school girl. Not that this is a Japanese schoolgirl, but... He sort of reminds me of the Japanese schoolgirl, because of that. She had like a ball and chain as well, even though it's a bit of a different sort of thing going on for her. go crack. It's a really powerful move. Water. Let's see if this does a bit more. Fire did about 80 odd. Water seemed to do a little bit more, but maybe fire would have if we'd used it this turn as well. Oh wow. Quite a bit of damage to everyone that was. Right, so Rudy can now use Lock On and Hand Cannon. Jack can use Accelerator if he wants to go first, but we don't really I don't really care if he goes first or not. And Mystic to heal up a little bit. A little bit, it'll fully Oh no! We'll still live, hopefully. That did a hell of a lot. Jesus. See what I mean? This is definitely the toughest boss so far. If, we're, if I end up to the levels that I'm at right now, you're going to have a hard time. We're going to have a tricky time as it is, but even harder. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good amount of healing. And if we keep this up, we'll be doing about... Let's see how much this does. 300 odd damage each turn as well. Yeah, quite happy with that. Crack it up, and we might as well do a bit of damage to him this time. Because nobody is really that hurt. Jack a little bit, but yeah, no, no one else. Drown him! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, boy. Still going? Okay. Spinning flail, this will hit everyone again. Okay, we're gonna have to heal up this turn again. But, you know, hurt with the other two. It's a good job we got loads of heal berries. If you waste on going through the dungeons and stuff, every time you get a tiny bit of damage dealt to you. You're gonna find this game hard. Really hard. You've gotta you gotta try and wait until your health is a little bit low, or at least half full before using the heal berry. It's what I do, and it seems to work fine. 
So that's what I'd recommend. Still going, mate? Okay. Come and get me. Oh dear god, what's he doing? Did he just waste a turn? Oh. We'll see now. We don't actually need to use Kira lately, do we? With the heel berries going on. <laughs> Mystic heel berries. I think Kira might be... Might do more. You know, heal her by more, maybe. But even still. Not by much. At this point. Come and get me! Oh dear god, what are you doing? <laughs> Keep it up and we'll be fine. We're getting through it easy. I don't know what else to say, say see. We, I've given you the little strategy of um, what to do. Yeah, we're done! <laughs> Here we go, don't have to say anything else. Huh? What was that? Bell Salk. I think a sort of incorrect Japanese translation, like English, where it's supposed to be Berserk with R's, there's L's instead, like they tend to do sometimes. 200 EXP, Rudy going up level Jack and Cecilia. Oh, nice! No money though. Well, whatever, we got a lot of EXP out of him. Come back when you're more of a challenge, kid. What are you talking about? We killed him. Because we're amazing. And that is the end of the assault on Adelheid on the Ruin Festival. <laughs> Bazalk is a slave driver. Why do you have to take this junk back? Gotta do what we're told. We gotta get this done. Okay, so we've lost Lilithia. Probably not the best idea in the world to take something that huge and powerful out of the tomb. When the enemies can get to it so easy then. And the other two seem to have been taken off, which... We don't really know if they're that powerful, but I'm assuming they're supposed to be about the same as Lilithia. I'm sorry, Father. I disobeyed your wishes. The teardrop is in their hands. It's done. But the teardrop must not be used for evil. We must... Save your strength. It's my responsibility to reclaim the teardrop. Princess, I've made my decision. Our resources must be conserved for the reconstruction of Adelheid. I trusted trusty friends. With their help, I'll reclaim the teardrop. Yeah. This is how the group stick together. They do it to help Cecilia. We're going to volunteer anyway, but you shouldn't come. You'll just slow us down. <laughs> what the hell? Cecilia is healing us all, all over the place. I don't trust royalty. I never have, and I never will. Yeah. Hide your identity and roam the land, eh? How romantic. You can count me out. That's enough, Dream Chaser. I apologize for my behavior. If people find out who I am, they become distant. I'll, I was lonely. But my passion to save Felgaia is no lie. How can I convince you? Cecilia, please. Your sword. May I please use your sword? Oh, what for? heavy with the weight of its destiny. It's not for you. Give it back. What's she doing? No! Ah, Final Fantasy IX style again. <laughs> it's all over the place. Your sword severed my past. I think, yeah, I'm sure this was out before Final Fantasy IX. Absolutely positive. So, you know, <laughs> who knows if Square Play saw this game or not. I'm sure they did as some sort of research, I'm assuming Square to play other RPGs and get the more popular aspects and put it in their games to make them so brilliant. Is what I think they must do anyway. Because you see the influences from so many other RPGs when you play them. You can't just sit around feeling sad. You must honour the dead. Our beloved king and the men who fought so bravely. Ah, the king is dead. They gather here today, three separate agendas, but one common goal. The stage is set for the fall of Filgaia. The story starts here. 
Yeah, we haven't really had a story so far other than learning the very basics of the characters. Not that they get huge amounts of backstory or anything, there are not much character development in this game. Or that much real plot, but even still, I love it. Ah, the king. A couple of the soldiers joining in. Well, one of them. <laughs> someone was telling me, someone I was talking to the other day, that he, when he first played this game, because the credits were coming on now, he thought this was the end and he never went back to it until he read a review somewhere uh, a while later. <laughs> I found that quite funny. <laughs> Isn't RPGs can be long? Silly wabbit. What the hell are they doing? Shaking their fists. What? Is it like a tradition? Oh, oh shit. She dropped her ball. Is that what they were doing? Playing ball while the funeral was going on. <laughs> or am I missing something? Music composition. He did an amazing job on this game. I'm sure he, gave, he was given directions about the game. Make it western, make it like it is. But even still, he did an amazing job. Uh, we never did enter the church, did we? I don't think we did. This one, anyway. Wild Arms. Yes, it's finally starting. It's a long start, isn't it? It's a very long <laughs> intro to the game. It's almost as if... It's almost as if, you know, they... They wanted to get a couple of dungeons into the game before showing the intro sequence kind of thing. One week from the date of the attack. This is our destiny. The three of us going after the monsters. I really don't want to do this, but we must fetch the princess. We're running out of time. Okay, let's go get her. I don't know where she is, but we'll... I think she's probably in her bedroom. We've lost the teardrop now, which was so useful uh, throughout, throughout the game so far. With her parts, at least. So... It's going to be awkward. Her only tool now is the pocket watch, or the stopwatch. Which isn't... Uh, it ain't that useful, I don't think. But you know, that's only for now. Go see it. Gotta try and remember where her bedroom is now. This one, innit? It is. Yeah! Hello, hello Cecilia. Do you like my hair? It's a lot easier to manage. She does look a lot better in this costume. Uh, if we had to go through the game with the old one, it wouldn't have mattered that much. I, I, you know, we would have lived, but... Take me with you. Okay. And now, that is the end of the episode. So, this has been Greeny XI. I hope you've enjoyed. We've sort of come full circle and ended up right back where we started the episode. <laughs> it's just quite strange. Anyways, see you again in a bit, folks.